Hello, and welcome to Bookstore 101. My name is Danny, and I will be the moderator for our discussion today. I am a senior in elementary education, and I've worked as a student employee for the bookstore for two years. I'm excited to be one of the first to welcome you to Iowa State. One of the most common questions I get from new students on campus each year is, what do you like most about Iowa State? I love how everyone works together here at Iowa State, and even though it's a large campus, I still feel like an important part of the Cyclone family. Ames and Iowa State are truly my home away from home, and I know you will feel the same way too. Now let's get started. Here at the Iowa State University Bookstore, our focus is on you, the students. We are located in the heart of campus on the first floor of the Memorial Union, as well as online at isubookstore.com. The bookstore has been owned and operated by Iowa State University for over 140 years. 100% of our proceeds support the campus we love. All money spent at the bookstore is invested right back into the university. You also save 7% every day with no sales tax on all purchases because the bookstore is owned by the university. The college bookstore is a primary landmark on any campus. Yes, it's where you need to get your textbooks for class, but beyond that, we also have a tech store called TechSite featuring Apple and Dell computers and the best selection of Cyclone gear in town, clothing, gifts, and school supplies. Today, we will be talking about two main topics, course materials and technology. Let's start with course materials. Our course material expert is Heather Dean. Heather is the course materials manager and assistant director. Thank you, Danny. Hello, everyone. My name is Heather, and I've been working with the textbook requirements here at Iowa State with both students and the faculty for the past 12 years. We've been on a mission to provide lots of different options that we know really work for students, and we work to make textbooks more affordable, knowing that we have students with a variety of budgets and a variety of learning styles. So first things first, how does it work to get textbooks at Iowa State? You do need to register for classes with your academic advisor. Once that is done, your book list will automatically populate within your class schedule in Access Plus. Click the link to view complete textbook list towards the top of your class schedule. If you add or drop classes, this list will update based on your registration, so you can view it anytime. You can then order your textbooks directly from your book list for early bird pickup, shipping to your local address, or you can still shop the old fashioned way by coming to the bookstore and picking out what you need. Next, let's talk about the variety of options that you will see throughout your book list. We know that you may not be used to shopping for textbooks or knowing that you have choices to make. It's not as simple as, hey, I need a math book, so you come over and buy a math book. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated than that. So we'll talk through what your options are. But first, I will note, as you're planning for your budget for textbooks, you can charge your textbooks and school supplies directly to your U-bill alongside your tuition and other fees. And like Danny said, you don't pay the 7% sales tax at the ISU bookstore, which is also a really nice perk of being an Iowa Stater. So diving into the options, first we have used. We like to call these books pre-read because sometimes you have students who have left handwritten notes and highlighting along the way to help guide you through your studies for that particular course. But we also have used books that look brand new as well. You can save 25% or more compared to the new price of the book when you go with used, and this is our most popular option among Iowa State students. We also have a textbook rental program. And how this works is you pay the rental fee at the beginning of the semester, which is less than the purchase price, and then you'll return it during finals week when you're done with the course. Students typically save 40% or more by going with textbook rental instead of purchasing, and this is available for both new books and used books. Again, a very popular option for Iowa State students. We also have digital. Many of our textbooks are available in ebook format, you can save up to 75% off the price of a new book when you go digital. That's a great option for budget, uh, so it's definitely something to consider. There are also instructors that require access codes. These are subscriptions or like a software license code that would give you access to interactive and adaptive learning content for the course. 
So just be aware that you may see these digital options in your book list as well. We also have loose leaf textbooks. This is the exact same as a traditional hardback textbook. It just doesn't have the binding. It's three hole punched. So all you have to do is put it in a binder. And this is a way that the publishers are producing textbooks um, in many different uh, textbook titles. So just something to be aware of when you look in your book list that you may have loose leaf titles available to you and you'll wanna make sure you have a binder. We also have an online price comparison tool that allows you to see prices from other major online retailers. We do want you to get the best price on all of your materials. So we do publish this information directly into the Iowa State book list. And you really might just be surprised to see how competitive the bookstore pricing can be against these online retailers. So something to take a look at as you're doing research. And lastly, our immediate access program is a digital course material that is made available on the first day of class in Canvas, which is your learning management system here at Iowa State. They are the lowest price in the market. And I wanna talk about this in a little bit more detail. It is a, uh, becoming more and more popular among faculty to adopt to the course. And it is a bit unique compared to other traditional textbook options that I just mentioned. So here's how it works. If your faculty is requiring an immediate access digital course material, you will find it listed in your book list. However, you don't need to add that to your cart or make any purchases at the bookstore because they will automatically be added to your university bill. You will get access to the books on the first day of class through Canvas. You do have the option to opt out within the first 10 days of class, but you would be responsible for acquiring alternate materials and you would just need to have a conversation with your faculty member. This is a major textbook affordability initiative that we have here on campus. We worked with students, faculty, the publishers, um, we all work together um, to make sure that we're providing quality content and at the best price for our students. To give you some perspective, we have our introductory Math 150 course here at Iowa State. Many students have to take this. The textbook was $170, and by working with the faculty and the publisher to put it in the immediate access program, the price is now $94. And the same thing with our intro to music, the 102 elective class, the textbook was $223. And now through immediate access, it's $79. And last year, all immediate access courses combined saved students $2.5 million. And all of that money went back directly into the hands of students. So like I said, it's a textbook affordability initiative on campus that um, we are actively working with the students to make sure that textbooks are never a hurdle in your academic career. As new students, I wanna bring your attention to a great program we offer here at the ISU Bookstore, our early bird textbook reservation. You simply just pre-order your textbooks and you pick them up the weekend before school starts in August. Our used and rental books are first come first served, so you can get in line by placing your order early. If you are participating in Destination Iowa State, which is highly recommended by the way, the textbook pickup process is part of that program. When you place your early bird order with us before August 1st, you will be entered to win a $100 textbook scholarship and you will receive a free Cyclone t-shirt, just like you see here on the screen. I will also mention that you do not pay for your textbooks until August. The books are actually not here yet. We are still serving the summer term. So we'll wait to charge you until you, we have actually filled your order. Overall, the early bird program was built so students and parents have one less thing to worry about when you arrive in the fall. You have many more important things to worry about, like getting moved in and finding your classrooms, learning the bus routes. Why don't you go ahead and worry about all those things? Don't worry about your textbooks. Let us do the work for you. I'm gonna turn it back over to Danny, and she's going to tell you about our um, online appointment process that we have going on here in July. Thanks, Heather. So once you've registered for classes, you can schedule a virtual appointment with Heather, myself, or one of our other course material experts to have someone walk you through your book list. We will explain your specific book list as well as go through your options, preferences, and any other course material questions you may have. You can sign up for an appointment at isubookstore.com appointment. So now let's venture over to technology. Our expert for technology is Eric. 
Hi, thanks, Annie. Yeah, I'm Eric. I'm the assistant manager for our technology services, which we call TechSite. During today's presentation, I will tell you about some of the products and services offered by TechSite, benefits of shopping with us, and some recommendations from our major success program. So I'll start with the main reason that we have TechSite, which is computers. We offer Dell, Apple, and Microsoft computers at educational prices, and sometimes we have even more discounts. When possible, we negotiate with these companies to make sure that we're getting the best options at the best prices. Depending on the device you get, you could save up to $200 on your purchase. And as we mentioned earlier, we do not have sales tax on anything in the store, including computers and the warranties which go with them, which are also academically priced. Not only can you take advantage of this for yourself, but you can buy for your family as well. It means your parents and siblings can also get academic prices and won't have to pay the sales tax. Plus, when you graduate from ISU, you get to keep your discount to your Cyclone discount for life. Um, we also have software, which we can help you obtain and install. The Adobe Creative Suite has been very popular, especially now that Apple, or Adobe is letting us sell a license which is less than the educational pricing. Another benefit at ISU is that Microsoft Office is free for students to use on up to five devices. Uh, there are other titles specific to certain classes or available as special orders as well. So if you need something, just ask. So let's talk about computers a little bit more. We have some basic guidelines to keep in mind when you're looking for a computer. These are based on feedback from students at ISU, members of the ISU IT community, and within our department, uh, over 20 years of our own experience. Starting with the general specification, we can see these computers are used for the things we pretty much all do. Office, internet, listening to music, streaming TV to movies, uh, all the day-to-day -day basics. Key specs here are an i5 processor, eight gigs of RAM, and a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. And of course, we recommend considering a three or four year warranty with those. Even if you are careful with your computer, roommates and accidents happen. Next to this, you see our advanced specifications. These will do all the same things like office, internet, entertainment, but they're capable of doing more. These are good guidelines if you're going to be working with CAD software, doing 3D modeling, using serious graphic design software, or video editing. I'm not just talking quick video for social media, but more involved things like making your own movie or working on advertising videos for an internship. For these, we recommend going with an i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 512 gigabyte solid state, plus discrete graphics cards. Typically, those specs are found in computers with a 15 or 16 inch screen, which makes sense for several reasons, including make it easier to see those fine details that you're working on. On the next slide, we can see some more specific recommendations based on major. Again, we work with students, we've talked to university employees, we've talked to IT pros, all to make sure that we're on the right track. Based on all the information we've obtained, these are the recommendations that we make. Just to be clear, these are recommendations. If you only look at this guidance and never talk to us one-on-one, -on -one, these will get you through your program at ISU. Everyone is unique though, so we encourage you to set up an appointment, call us, or stop in the store so we can talk about what you need. Sometimes a psych major will be working on starting a career making documentaries. Sometimes a mechanical engineer will want to keep their personal system basic and do design work on a lab computer. So I'm gonna start out talking about majors within the colleges of egg and life science, business, human sciences, and LAS. The experience we've seen with these majors is that most of the work done on a computer is productivity based. Think Microsoft Word or Excel, uh, some internet research, or things we do in the background during our free time, like check our email, listen to music, or watch TV and movies. The machines designed with these tasks in mind are the Dell Inspiron 14 5002-in-1 and the MacBook Air with Retina Display 512 gigabytes of storage. Both of these machines will perform all of the tasks I mentioned very well both now and in the future. With these, when you get to the end of your time at Iowa State, you might want to get a new computer, but you won't feel like you have to get one. The i5 processor in both of these is the latest 10th generation from Intel, and the 8 gigs of RAM will help keep your tabs and applications running smoothly. You also have plenty of storage and battery life to make it through the whole day. If you have hobbies, which might require a little bit more power, like video production, graphic design, gaming, or 3D modeling, then you might want to consider stepping up to the Dell XPS 15 or the Apple MacBook Pro 16. Both of these have i7 processors, 16 gigs of RAM, and a discrete graphics card. This will make sure that any data or graphics processing gets done quickly and is rendered well. I will note the College of um, the Ivy College of Business has two computer labs specifically for their students, which are filled with Windows computers. This is a good hint that Windows is generally preferred, 
However, I can tell you I know people who have completed their business degree with Apple computers. This is true for most majors. While there might be some bias towards one system or another, you can generally make it through any major with any computer. Talk with us though, and we'll let you know what will make things the easiest for you. Next, I'll talk about engineering or design. If you're going into one of those uh, colleges, they actually have recommendations which you might want to consider. College of Engineering posts a list of recommendations from economical to high performance on their new to engineering page. The College of Design has a laptop lease program available to their students who are accepted into the professional program, which is your second year at ISU. And they have been very consistent in their specifications over the year. Because both the College of Engineering recommended configuration and the typical College of Design lease configuration are nearly identical, we're confident in making a recommendation to go with either the Dell XPS 15 or the MacBook Pro 16 inch. Again, both of these have i7 processors, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gig solid state drives, and discrete graphics cards. This will make sure any data or graphics processing gets done quickly and rendered well. Specifically, these recommendations are primarily oriented at engineering students focusing on mechanical, civil, construction, aerospace, and industrial engineering, as well as design students who would prefer not to take part in the lease program. If you're going into an engineering major other than those mentioned, or are interested in the College of Design lease program but would like something for the first year, the Inspiron 14 5000 or MacBook Air 13 inch would be great options. Uh, they're both designed with productivity and research in mind and fit well with the usage of typical university students. They have the newest Intel processors, 8 gigs of RAM, and at least 256 gigabyte solid state drive, all of which makes them very nice computers to use for many years. We recommend getting a warranty on any computer that you purchase in case you run into issues or have accidental damage occur to your computer. Starting this fall, we're going to be increasing the service that we can do right here in the University Bookstore. The Technology Service and Repair Center will give us the ability to perform both in and out of warranty work on Dell and Apple computers as an authorized service center. That means the computers you buy at TechSite can be fixed at TechSite. If you have another brand of computer, a cracked phone screen, or your PlayStation or Xbox isn't working quite right, our partner, Ames Tech Repair, will be on site to help you with those repairs too. After we talk about these things, usually we get asked, what am I forgetting or what else do I need? We get it enough that we asked our student employees what they wish they had either brought with them to campus or things that they realized they just couldn't do without. We took that list and refined it into what you see on the screen, our Cyclone Essentials. We recommend you consider these items, either uh, order them with your computer or at least before you come to school. If you don't, we'll have them here in the store to pick up as well so you don't need to run all over town. Just stay on campus, come to the bookstore, and get what you need. I personally want to take an extra moment just to recommend the portable backup hard drive. I have had hard drives quit working and lost data. It's starting to be more common for new machines to have the memory, including storage, soldered right onto the main board. So if that has to be replaced, there's not really a way to get your data back. That means it's very important to protect your data by having it saved someplace other than just on the computer. An external backup drive is one way to do that and the one I prefer because it lets me stay in control of my data. And as I said earlier, these are guidelines that we have so that if it's the only conversation we have with you, we know you'll be ready for success. We do encourage you to schedule an appointment though so we can have a more personal conversation and get you something that fits your specific needs. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Danny. Thanks, Eric. I'm going to address some popular questions we get about course materials and technology. So I'll start with some questions about technology. So Eric, what types of cloud storage do ISU students have access to? Sure, here at Iowa State, uh, you have a couple of options provided to you. One is via the free Microsoft Office license that you have. Microsoft provides OneDrive storage for the students using those licenses. So you've got an option there. Also, the university is teamed with Box to provide what we call Cybox. You have 50 gigabytes of storage, which you can access from your computer, from lab computers, from your phone or tablet, really anywhere that you have internet. So you'll never be without access to data and you'll always have a supplement beyond what's just on your computer. And Eric, you mentioned that you have Microsoft devices, but it isn't in the recommendations. Can I still get a Microsoft Surface? Yeah, you absolutely can. Um, if you go to 
uh, our website, you'll see the Microsoft Surface listed. Uh, it's a new product for us. Uh, um, we have Surface Pro, the Surface Book, the Surface Laptop, and the Surface Go. So while Microsoft's offered, offered educational prices for a while, it's, they've only really recently started working with the university bookstores. So since they're new to us and we haven't got as much feedback on them, we're just not ready to make specific recommendations yet. Um, these or any other brand of computer that you're comfortable with will work for you too. Just pay attention to the recommendation we make in our major success guide for the specifications to keep in mind and you'll be fine. And if you talk to one of us one-on-one, uh, -on -one, we'd be more than happy to talk about how Microsoft products fit your particular needs. And Eric, I have a laptop left over from high school. Is there a way to trade that in? Absolutely. We do have a trade-in program. Uh, if you go to the uh, shop tech site link under the technology tab on the main ISU bookstore page, it will take you to our specific portion of the website. We have our own set of tabs, one of which is info. And under that info tab, you'll see a link to our technology trading page where you can get an estimated trading value for your computer. When you bring in the computer to the store, we'll double check and make sure everything matches the quote and give you either a bookstore gift card, which can be used on anything in the store, or a discount on a new computer or other technology products. Uh, so that does have to be here in the store. We can't do that uh, via web order uh, or a remote trade-in. So just so you know, you'll be bringing that into the store. And then you mentioned getting free Microsoft Office. How do I access that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Microsoft Office, if you go again to our webpage, um, under the technology tab, we have a section called software with a student link. When you scroll down on that page, you'll see a section for Office 365 with a link to log into Office. Uh, follow that, sign in with your ISU credentials. Uh, it'll send you through our secure authentication called Okta, and you'll be able to use Office either online or use the install Office link to put it on your computer. Either way, Office is gonna be free as long as you're a student here at ISU. All right, and now I'm gonna transition over to questions about course materials. So Heather, my courses might be changing due to incoming AP scores or other reasons. Is there any reason that I can't place my early bird order today? That's a great question. Regardless, if you think you will change your classes, you can still pre-order with the early bird program to get your place in line. And then if you have changes to your class schedule, you just simply reply to your order confirmation with us and we'll be able to update your order for you. Or if you wanna just take care of things when you arrive in August, you can do that as well. Um, when you get your books through the ISU bookstore, we are going to make sure that you're taken care of and that we make things right for you. You do have the first week of classes to return books for a full refund as long as you keep them in the condition in which you purchased them. So if you have a new book, it needs to be in new condition. You also have the second week of class to return or exchange textbooks for any classes that you happen to drop. Uh, sometimes that happens. You get to the first week of class and decide it's not for you. We will make sure that you're taken care of. And then you had mentioned that we have ebooks. Um, how long do I get access to the ebooks and how do I access them? Yes, so our ebooks are all browser based. So you just need to have access to the internet um, and just use, you know, Chrome or Firefox or whatever uh, browser is, is best for you. And um, you will download your ebooks um, or access them online through your electronic bookshelf that will be available through your account at isubookstore.com. And um, it's really that simple. If you have the immediate access courses, like I mentioned, you'll just simply log into Canvas and the um, materials for the class, whether it's the ebook or the adaptive learning content, um, homework managers, things like that, will all be accessible through your Canvas course. And then I'm trying to decide between used and new books. So at the end of the semester during buyback, does it make a difference if I purchase the book used versus new? 
Yeah, that's a great question. As you're considering what options are best for you, um, whether it's your learning style or for your budget, um, when it comes to end of semester uh, buyback, uh, that is a program where when you're finished with the books that you've purchased, um, you can sell them for cash uh, right here at the bookstore. So maybe you've decided at the end of the course that you don't want that textbook, you can sell it. Now, if you did textbook rental, there's no buyback opportunity because you paid the smaller fee at the beginning of the semester. So you have to just turn in your book um, when you're finished with the course um, for the rental. So when making a decision on your purchases, new versus used, um, we it all depends on um, whether or not that book is being used at Iowa State again the next semester. So whether you buy it new or you buy it used um, and whatever condition it is at the end of the semester, the price, the buyback price is going to be the same regardless of what condition you purchased it in. All right, so that's gonna wrap up our Q&A. But before we head out, we also have an orientation playlist on YouTube that you can watch anytime. It covers things like booking appointments, learning about course materials, and understanding our major success program. This is a great resource for students at all levels, so take advantage of it. You can find it at youtube.com slash ISU Bookstore and playing the orientation 2020 playlist, or you can watch the videos independently. So that wraps up our presentation for today. Thank you so much for joining us. On behalf of Heather, Eric, and myself, we hope you've enjoyed getting to learn more about course materials and technology here at the ISU Bookstore, and we can't wait to see you in the fall. Remember to book those appointments with us so we can help you towards success here at Iowa State. Thanks again for joining us, and go Cyclones!